ex-wife. And I was pretty much the juice master during this next 14 days. Now, normally what we will be doing, we will be drinking the mean green four times a day. But to start the day, we were thinking it would be nice to have something a little bit more tasty and friendly and with some kick to it to get up in the morning. So, this is the breakfast juice, or one, one of the possible breakfast juices. Um, today I picked carrots. Carrots normally uh, are good for your eyes, everything knows that. But what you might not know it is that if you're a coffee junkie like I am, and trust me, Mike very much is, this will help you survive in the beginning. Carrots will pick you up, they give you energy, they, they wake you up. The same is lemon with its rich vitamin C. Oranges have vitamin C, but honestly, between you and me, it's just for the taste. Um, a very important part of the juice is turmeric. Turmeric or uh, with other juices, uh, ginger. Now the ginger I will be putting in the juice during the day, so we will be drinking a lot of this stuff. But for the breakfast I pick turmeric. Turmeric will help to uh, not only prevent but heal inflammations. Plus uh, it will help against uh, the pain. Similar to the watermelon actually. Well, watermelon mostly because it's alkaline, so it's going to help. Well, it gives a lot of juice, so it's a nice base for any juice, but also it will help us flush out all the acid. Um, so yes, so turmeric for the pain, for the joints mostly. Let's do this. Um, well, I don't have a fancy juicer. I have a simple, uh, what is this, Molinex. And frankly, I don't believe in uh, product advertisement, so, you know, whatever whatever does the trick for you. The important is that you have something that will contain all the fibers afterwards, and uh, something that can actually handle roots, as well as nice soft tissue. So, let's get started. Nutrition-rich diet uh, with a lot of uh, with uh, yeah, nutrition-rich diet without the calories and uh, well, it's not only about the calories, you know. It's it's mostly the fact that we're giving our digestive tract, our colon, a nice long break. for aroma for, for cooking or you can use it later for, um, for baking. For baking it's pretty nice. Whatever floats you both. I mean another thing that I think is very important and people don't pay much attention to during juicing is that it's very important that you make a plan and that you stick to it. I mean I know life goes gets in the way. Very often it happens that you know something happens, I mean you still have to make a living, you still have to pick up your kids from school or I don't know, do the household, you working probably, etc. But you can't start skipping. See, well, for everybody it's different, but from my experience, the first few days of juicing, you pretty much are going to go through your personal health. Why? Because you're flushing out all the toxins. You can have all kinds of symptoms. You can have severe headaches, what happens to me. You can even get fever and, and chills. Uh, you can, you, your pain, your body pain could increase. Similar symptoms like if you would have experience, be experiencing the flu. Uh, you can get moody. 
pissed off, angry, you know. So what you don't want to get if you want if you want to have a chance of, of really pulling this through and, and get to the stage where you can start appreciating your feelings and indeed having a clean and rebooted system. So what you don't want to get is you don't want to get hungry. You don't want to get hungry. This is not about starving yourself. This is about changing your state of mind. This is about improving your body, this is about the rest of your life. So hungry is not what you're aiming for. That's why it's really crucial that you make a plan and you stick to your juicing plan. So this here is 6 a.m. The start of the day. After this, you have a second one, or we are going to have a second juice, nice rich juice at 10. This will be a green one, by the way. I mean, you don't want to do fruit all the day because, I mean, the, the fruit sugar... Well, you don't want to get diabetic with this thing, right? It's not the goal. The goal is to get healthy and flush the system. Do you want, you want some fruit? Later. Um, this is Ben, by the way. Benny enjoys fruit very much. I know he's a doberman, but believe it or not, he'll go for a nice lettuce or some watermelon or apple any time of the day over a steak. Seriously, I mean, that dog really knows what's good for him. Anyway, so at 10 we'll have the next juice, then there is the lunch juice at 12. So that's a breakfast juice, the 10 o'clock, the 12, and then we have two more in the afternoon, right? So one around 3, and then the last one at 6 p.m. So 6 a.m. is the first, 6 p.m. is the last. And then in between and afterwards, you stick to water. Now, stop drinking water before you go to bed, like two hours before, because you don't want to spend the night on the toilet either, flushing and pissing. But drinking is important, really very, very important. Now some people, and I'm one of those people, have a huge problem with drinking enough water. You have to find it. You have to go for it. Bye.